So welcome back friends to Monday morning on the homestead. We have a lot to do today. Just finished working out and I am uh, getting ready to make some breakfast. So I have, uh, I've, I've been trying this eating one meal a day uh, for a couple days and, and I really like it just for convenience. <laughs> but uh, once I've kind of gotten used to it, uh, a lot of calories, um, I'm, I'm lean, definitely leaning up, losing, losing a lot of fat and having a lot more time. So we're gonna be making a juice this morning. One of my favorites, what do we have here? the bunny's briar patch. So let's see if we how much we can find of the ingredients out in the garden in the orchard. So we'll head down to the orchard. I'm afraid we might be a little bit early on the apples, but I do see a bunch of them down there. So I don't have any in the refrigerator. So hopefully we only need one. It looks like, you know, these are not gonna, they feel a little bit hard. We've, how many apple trees do we have? The, those are definitely not ripe yet. We've got a big one, we got some more here. Boy, the pruning that we did has made a big difference. Look at this, this might be our apple right here. Is this guy ready? I'm gonna go with this one. The one lone big apple on the one <laughs> single tree. <laughs> So we need some veggies, so we'll head out to the garden. We need yellow squash and broccoli. It's a little bit late for broccoli. I don't know if we're gonna have much luck with that, but I think we have yellow squash. Look at these beauties. Very nice, Mrs. W has already picked these. Let's go find some broccoli. Well, there. I think we have enough for today. So it's a little bit to... Looks like it's a little late for broccoli. Might have to get a whole bunch of little guys here. Oh, there's a nice one. All right, that ought to do it for today. That's probably the last day for the broccoli. So while we're out here, I, I don't remember if I showed you that timber frame planter box that we built. Uh, Mrs. W turned it into her uh, flower herb garden. It'll be kind of interesting to see how it holds up. Remember, we put so much work into all of that joinery and being out here all summer in the sun, you know, of course it's opened up and it's checked and moved, but that's kind of some of the, the charm of it here. That center divider, uh, I don't care. Even if it'll, you get 10 years out of it, every time I come down here, it gives me joy to see the, the joinery. It looks so nice. <laughs> looks a nice, lot nicer than uh, made out of corrugated steel or something. Just doesn't last as long. What do you think, Heart Racer? You ready to make some juice? You ready for some juice? There it is. There's breakfast. We got our yellow squash. We got our apple. I had a cucumber. It's not in the recipe, but I sometimes I supplement carrots, broccoli, spinach. So the book I use, I like this pretty well. This is uh, 101 juice recipes. I think I, they're, they're all probably about the same, but this one's just easy to use because of the way it's bound. But uh, we are making the bunny Briar patch today. They're actually pretty good. I used to freestyle make my own stuff um, And it never tasted very good and I can't say that this tastes good either, but it tastes a whole lot better than my concoction There's something about the the Vegan diet that just you know it, it, it almost it calls to me or appeals to me The problem I have with it. Well, there's two problems. I have with it. The first thing is I hate vegetables I just despise them um, I, I've always thought that I had it was a fall into the category of super taster meaning I don't know, maybe it's just in my head, but it seems that it's the, the taste is more intense. And you know, vegetables are so bitter that I, I just I just don't like them, I just hate them. But I, I have, I'm not a fool either. I, I, I can see the health benefits of a, of a plant-based diet versus a lot of the processed meat and food that we eat. And um, the, the other thing I hate, you haven't met hateful people until you've been around vegans. I, I saw a poll <laughs> recently uh, the question was asked, would you rather have a, a, a vegan come to your door or a Jehovah's Witness? And the, and the lion's share people would, would rather have a Jehovah's Witness come. <laughs> I think it's true. I mean, I, I, I watch their videos and, and I, I, I guess I'm looking for information or I'm, I'm just so curious about it. I watch their videos and, and they're just hateful people. What's so funny is that they, they profess to be... Uh, uh, so in touch and, and so kind and it's all about the animals and you know, maybe they're kind to animals uh, But they sure are not kind to anyone else. I mean, they're just awful awful So I wouldn't want to be associated with that if I did if I did become a vegan I wouldn't even I wouldn't tell anyone ever How's that is that 
That lens wide enough for you? We're leaking. We're leaking. I didn't put the thing back together. See, this is what happens when Mrs. W doesn't make it. Everything becomes a mess. All right, remember this with your angel juicer. This goes on the outside. The outside. I'm not sure what it is about, there's two topics that bring more controversy and more hate in the comments than anything, and that's, that's religion and diet. And I was thinking, what do those two things have in common that people react so strongly about to and I think, I think I figured it out. I think what it is is this. It's that we all know that we could be doing a little bit better. And when we see someone else doing better, um, it reminds us of our own shortcomings, our own inadequacies, and we, and we, wanna, we don't want to think about that, and so we attack it, and then it makes us feel better about ourselves. Uh, I've done that. Uh, I know you've probably done that as well. I think that's what it all comes down to. You know, another thing I think rubs everyone the wrong way when it comes to vegans is you know, they claim to be activists, uh, that they are uh, protecting or, or they have, their, their goal is to eliminate the uh, abuse and murder of animals. You know, I don't, I, I don't want to be cruel to animals either, and I don't like to see animals suffer, and I'm not super excited about what takes place at feedlots and these huge factory farms. I try not to, what I, the meat that I eat, we try not to, we try not to buy meat like that, we try to, buy stuff that's local you know like we just bought a half a cow we split it with some friends and it was pasture fed and you know all organic you know and when but you know it's not always an option for everyone and i don't see a whole lot of vegan activism on youtube what i see is a bunch of people that are running around on permanent vacation um asking people uh, to su support their lifestyle through patreon or whatever um while they uh hang out on the beach and uh preach to everyone about how much holier they, holier they are uh, than everyone else. That, uh, everyone loves that. These angel juicers are really good. They, uh, this is so dry. It's almost like sawdust. It just doesn't, it gets, it just wrings all of the juice out of pretty much everything. I think we need to do, I, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a poll on this video. We have enough folks that'll be watching that we could get a pretty good sample. I'll put a, uh, I'll put a poll up here in the video and question will be, would you rather have uh, to deal with a Jehovah's Witness at your front door or a militant vegan? <laughs> I know, I know which, would, which way I'd vote. I'd take, I'd take on an army of Jehovah's Witnesses over some shrieking vegan any day. <laughs> At least you can, at least you can uh, reason with with the Jehovah's Witness. The cucumber is definitely not part of this re recipe, but I put it in here because I am a rebel. This is the first apple that we have uh, picked out of our. That's a little, yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's a little tart. Another uh, couple weeks and it'll be perfect, but. It'll suffice for the juice. Now, every time I put apples in these things, I get the, the cyanide police that come up. Of course, we all know that there's a trace element of cyanide in apple seeds. But to be honest with you, you'd have to eat a truckload of them to have any ill effects. So don't worry about it. Overfilled. Got greedy. One more apple slice, and that one more was too much. I don't know why. When Mrs. W does this, it seems to go a lot better. Yep, that's really full there. You know, this juice diet, man, if you want to lose weight, it gets flat, gets after it. I lost, what, 10 pounds in three or four days. These guys online, oh, I can't lose weight. You know, I tried everything and gastric bypass and all that. You know what? Just just have juice for for six months and see what happens i guarantee you lose weight there's people that have done it man i'll tell you this is the worst part of the whole deal this is even worse than cleaning the juicer 
it's rough to be a super taster. But now that I'm an old man with a brand new baby, I gotta take care of myself so I can be around a little longer. It is my daily hair shirt, this thing. But the good thing is, is it's over with quick and, and now I'm good. Now I can get some stuff done and don't have to be slowed down by eating three meals a day. <laughs> Plus it get really thin that way or, or uh, get rid of that fat. All right, let's get to work. 